you ain't heard about what happened, I don't want to cheat you. I don't want to rap you. We on tour. You deserve to hear about this shit. I'm going to give you the... I be talking a lot. I'm going to give you the fast version. Two years ago, I get off tour. As soon as I get off tour, I look around at my life and my career. I say, yo, I feel like I made it to a place that I dreamed of and I feel comfortable enough to move back home. So that's what I did. Two years ago, I went back home. And I ain't going to lie, New York City is expensive as fuck. I was like, nigga, I'm not doing it. So I go back home. As soon as I get back home, the first thing I do, I go to the suburbs. I get me a house out in the suburbs. And the only reason I get this house, for one reason, one reason only, it's always been a dream of mine to have a crib with a studio in it. So that's what I do. I get the house, I put a studio in it. It ain't no high tech, Dr. Dre level shit. Nah, it's just some old home studio shit, man. You know what I mean? You walk in, you go to the basement, some little carpet. I ain't gonna lie, we got some big ass speakers in there, but that's about it. We got a normal ass desk. Y'all probably, some of y'all probably got the same desk I got. Some old shit from Ikea. Don't act like you don't fuck with Ikea, nigga. You already know. I ain't gonna lie though, that bitch is definitely leaning. It's a crazy lean on it, but you know a nigga think he can put shit together without reading the instructions. Fuck it. I got a comfortable ass couch. The most comfortable couch my ass cheeks has ever sat on. I promise you, I got that bitch from rooms to go. And that should be an ad, shouldn't it? What's up, y'all? This is J. Cole. I got this couch. I got this bitch from rooms to go. So look, right above the couch, I got posters and pictures everywhere. Legends. I'm talking about legendary people from our past, our history, our culture, our music. So every square inch of the room got pictures on it. So when you walk in, you feel inspired, especially if you're a creator, right? So every day I got niggas in there working. I'm working, producers, artists, Dreamville shit, niggas just following their dreams. Doing some of the most positive shit you could ever do, which is this music, you know what I mean? We ain't doing nothing crazy, some positive shit. So tell me why, Philly. One day, out the fucking blue, about 15, 16 SWAT police officers show up to the house looking, wearing some ridiculous shit, by the way. These niggas was from the future or something, I don't know. The shit they had on, I don't even think Donald Trump bitch ass seen this shit yet. They were having some next level shit. For real. This was some shit they clearly were saving for ISIS, but they just practiced on my house. These niggas look like y'all ever played Call of Duty. Niggas was wearing some shit off Call of Duty, but some shit you gotta go in the game and pay extra for. You know what I'm talking about, nigga. I know you be wasting your money on Call of Duty. They show up to the crib. Why? I don't know. They bust in the house. Matter of fact, Philly, I'm telling y'all about it, but I have the fucking footage. They don't think black people got cameras. I got the footage. Let's show Philly what the fuck I'm talking about, man. Look at these motherfuckers. Look at this shit. Who, gun, who is that for, that gun? Watch this, he about to bust in right now. Boom, boom, boom. We're in. Look at this shit. That's just the front. Now look at this motherfucker. This nigga swear he's busting into a drug room right now. He knows it. He's so sure. I got him. I'm in. No, nigga, you fucking idiot. That's the outside. <laughs> fucking idiot. This the slick shit right here. First of all, that's my pool stick. This one they find out black people got cameras too. Look what they do. Y'all see that shit? Now all of that Philly, and they flew helicopters over the crib and all that shit. I ain't, I ain't got that many cameras, nigga. I ain't got no camera pointing up. That shit ain't in the budget. But they flew helicopters, all of that. They went through all of that, and what do you think they found in the house? You fucking idiots, y'all could have knocked. I would have showed up humble as fuck, probably in my drawers, like, hey, what the fuck? You got the wrong guy. 
I don't know who the fuck they thought they was coming to see. Pablo Escobar, perhaps, I don't know. Maybe they thought I was one of the Migos, I don't fucking know. I know a nigga got dressed now, but damn. But they ain't just randomly show up to my crib. Philly, why you think out of all the houses, they showed up to my shit, why? The fucking neighbors, man. That's why I'm saying I ain't gonna just make a song shitting on the neighbors for no reason. I ain't got no problem with the neighbors. Until now, fuck them niggas. Matter of fact, I don't even want to shit on all my good white neighbors. It's one nigga in particular, I think. It's the motherfucker behind me. If I had to put money on I know it's him. Why do I feel like that? Cuz, man, when this nigga's outside mowing his lawn, he just exudes racism. Niggas smell racist. I can smell it from the crib. You know, black people, we got a sixth sense for that shit. My fucking hair starts sticking up. Smells like a racist. <laughs> so that's what happened. That's the story on that song. And I was mad as fuck. Because what they did was fucked up. But Philly, I'm going to tell you the truth. I had to check myself. Why? Because I feel like I was guilty of some shit. In this country, you know, in America, as soon as a black man gets some money, what's the first place he gonna, what's the first place he gonna go? The fucking suburbs, right? Nine times out of ten, he gonna be right next door to somebody that don't want him there, intimidated, offended by his presence. But that's where we go, because we feel validated, like we made it. What we don't do is, we don't take them same dollars, go back to where we come from, or a neighborhood that's like where we come from, pump the money into the community, you know what I mean? That's what we don't do. And you ain't gotta clap, because I ain't do this shit either. But I did, I did write this. I wrote this shit about it. <laughs> Listen. So much for integration. Don't know what I was thinking. I'm moving back to Fuck these niggas. So much for integration. Don't know what I was thinking. I'm moving back to Southside. That's where I should've went. Listen, niggas from the hood is the best actors. We the ones that gotta wear our face backwards. Keep your frown on before they think you saw. Never smile longer, take your defense off. Acting tough so much, we start to feel hard. Live from the city where they pull cards. I got a Glock 40 and a Lil 9. Ready for the day a nigga pull mine. Niggas from the hood is the best actors. Gotta learn to speak in ways that's unnatural. Just to make it through the job interviews. If my niggas heard me, they say, damn, what's gotten into you? Shit. Just trying to make it, dog, somehow. Peeking through the blinds, I see the sun now. I see her still sleeping and it feels like maybe everything is gonna be all right. Maybe everything is gonna be all right. Philly, this next song I'm about to do for y'all 